Hey guys, today I'm going to show you all how to use a proxy. Now, using a proxy, you're only going to really need to use these, say, uh, if you're at school and you run into a block site and you want to get around that, of course you'll need this. But uh, I don't recommend using these on your home computers because they can slow your computer down significantly. And um, go and start off, you're going to need to go to this website right here. I'll be including a link to it and to your right in the information tab. And um, these are just, uh, this is a list of some pretty good proxies I've found, but uh, you'll find that uh, some proxies won't work for you. I don't know why that is. Uh, you know, some of my friends, uh, different proxies work for them that uh, don't work for me necessarily. So, um, you know, you're just going to have to experiment with some of them. You just got to try different ones. You know, they don't work for everybody, but... Uh, I found a good one that works for me is uh, this uh, China one right here. And uh, as you can see, this right here is the proxy number, and then these uh, last digits right here after the colon, that's the port number. So uh, you're going to need to go ahead and take this right here and copy it and, uh, up into your um, configuration for your proxy. So you're going to need to go to Tools up here, go to Options. Uh, you need to click on this advanced tab right here and then go to network then settings and you'll need to switch it over to a manual proxy configuration then you'll go ahead and paste that right there in the HTTP proxy and then put your port down uh, then just go ahead and click OK on that and uh, there, you, there you have it there's a good proxy right there works for me uh, of course, there's other proxy lists you can get. Uh, you can uh, freshproxylist.com. That's a good site to get proxies. Um, you can just go to Google and type in proxy list, and you'll get, you know, you can try different ones. But uh, like I said, I don't recommend using this on your home computer. Only use it when you have to. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and uh, give an example of uh, something right here. Uh, some of these can actually uh, change the language on some of your websites, like this Brazilian one right here. Watch, uh, whenever I put this in to my, as my proxy, it will actually change the language. You can see, I'm going here, going to my settings, and I'm going to paste this in here, change my port to 80. And then when I go to google.com, it's going to give me a Brazilian website, and I'm going to have a Brazilian language. Now, as you can see, it's taking a little while to load here, and, um, you know, this is going to happen. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be slow sometimes, but um, as you can see here, I've got Google in Brazil, basically. So, um, you know, use wisely, experiment. And, uh, you know, if you get called at your school doing something you're not supposed to be doing, you know, don't blame it on me. Um, this is just for educational purposes only. I'm not encouraging anyone to use this in school. But, you know, just, you know, don't don't come crying to me whenever, you know, you got attention for crap. All right, get over it. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.